Tuesday, 21st April 2020. Learning intention to understand about France and the fur trade. Now, in this lesson, children will be learning about France's efforts to colonize North America and South America and other countries around the world. And we'll be learning about voyages of Giovanni de Varazeno and Jacques Cartier. Okay, so in this lesson, we'll be learning about France's efforts, uh, how they wanted to colonize uh, countries around the world. Okay, so this is about France's efforts to establish colonies. Now, the key vocabulary for this lesson is cartographer is a map maker. Growing season, the days available in a year to plant and harvest crops. Portage, to carry boats and supplies over land from one waterway to another. Now, the first French explorer who we are going to learn about was called Giovanni di Varazeno. Okay, so he sailed for France and he took his brother who was a cartographer to sail along with him. Uh, now, a cartographer is a map maker. Okay. Now, he was the first European to sail up the Atlantic coast of the present day United States from North Carolina to Newfoundland. Okay. Now, another French sea captain was called Jacques Cartier. Okay. And he explored the coast of North America in 1534. Now, the present-day Canadian city of Montreal takes its name from a hill named by Cartier. So, there were lots of French explorers like these who wanted to uh, explore and set up colonies in America. Now, the French, they wanted to trade furs, particularly beaver skins, which were in great demand in Europe for making men's hats. And the development of fur trade in North America led to a renewed effort by the French to establish colonies in the land, which they now called New France. Okay, so now New France, it grew differently than the English colonies. And at first, very few settlers decided to come to New France because the winters were long and hard and farming was quite difficult as well because the growing season was so short. Okay. Uh, however, the fur trade, uh, because uh, uh, fur was found uh, in North America, it resulted in further exploration and fur traders, they canoed and portaged farther and farther into uh, North America wilderness. Okay, And this led to France's renewed interest in colonizing North America, which was a result of the growth of trade with Native Americans. Now, unlike the English, the French had more peaceful trade based relationship with Native Americans. The English, by contrast, they forcefully pushed Native Americans off their land. And the Mississippi River was explored by Market, Joliet and De La Salle. Now, by 1700, the French and the English East India companies had driven out other Europeans from India. However, tensions in Europe between England and France spread to their respective colonial holdings in North America and India. And this tension between uh, uh, France and Britain led to a war in Europe and North America. And France was defeated in the war. And France's defeat meant the loss of most of its territory in India and the end of French influence in the region. Now, after, after going through these slides, children, think about the answers to these questions. Okay, now which country did Giovanni di Varazano sail? What was Varazano the first European to do? And what present day Canadian city takes its name from a hill named by Cassia? What caused France's renewed interest in colonizing North America? And how was the French treatment of Native Americans different from that of the English? And which river was explored by Market, Joliet and De La Salle. Now your task is to write a short answer to the big question, 
so you can take a, any sheet or paper and then write a short answer to this question now the french and the english had different approaches to settlement in north america in what ways were they different so in yesterday's lesson you learned how english uh, colonized other countries and what was their approach to settling in north america and what was the french's approach in settling in north america and how were the two approaches different so you have to write an answer to this big question now after you've written an answer to this big question you are going to use two of the core vocabulary words any two of these cartographer growing season or portage and you're going to write a sentence using the word okay once you finish doing your homework you can take pictures of your homework and you can email it to us uh, the teachers are more than happy to check the answers okay good luck with the task